So what is going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome back to another video in which we'll be looking at a hook known as useRef. So useRef basically allows you to have control, some sort of control over um, DOM in JavaScript, um, in React. So why would you need that? Well, I have seen, I have made use of useRef in cases where, for example, I'm making use of Google Kapschka and I need to read its value. Now you can go, just go ahead and implement the raw implementation of Google Kapschka. I'm pretty sure there might be some sort of React implementation available as well. But back in the day when I was trying it, there was not really any implementation. So in those cases, references are very useful to actually get control of the React element in HTML, in the DOM. So you know that this is an anti-pattern in React to access the DOM directly by, you know, getting element by id or you know class name or something like that so don't do this right so how do we access dom then well we're gonna get we're gonna create an element for example i'm gonna create h1 ref here and i'm gonna say this is use ref now what this does is that it returns to some sort of object which we can obviously just go ahead and see so let's just console log what h1 ref actually is so i'm gonna go here and inspect and let's see what is actually actually going on so we get an object which has just the current property now what happens is obviously this has a prototype chain and all that stuff but what happens is when you pass the h1 ref as a ref here as an attribute of ref what it would do is that it would assign the dot current property you see here to this particular h1 tag in the html so when I hit save and see now, we're going to see that we still have the current undefined because obviously it's not defined till now unless it is rendered. So we're going to make use of something known as use effect. We're going to see later on what that is and how to work with that. This is because it is obviously not defined as of now because, well, this code is called before that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just cheat the system a little bit here. Obviously, this is not how we have to do things. I'm going to say I'm going to run this after 10 milliseconds, right? And I'm going to then see what h1 ref is. We're going to learn about a better way of console logging this in the next video when we take a look at use effect hook. But for now, let's just live with this. So I'm going to hit save and see that now the object which we have has the current property set to this h1. And when I hover over this, you can see in the DOM, it is revealed that this is the exact same h1 which we have. So what happened? was that use effect gave us an empty object and when i pass in this h1 ref here it would set the current property in that particular object to the current element which which is being pointed to it right and now i can just go ahead and do you know uh, dot current dot inner text because now we have we are working with the dom so we can just make use of these properties like this so now you can see that we get the inner text of this i can also say inner html to get the about link as the ahref link right so stuff like this so yeah that's how pretty much how the use ref hook works and that's all for this video if you liked it don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching